Greetings, everybody. Welcome to ENC 2210. This is Technical and Professional Writing. My name is Jackie Pierce. I am your professor for this particular class. I've been teaching this class for a while for Lake Sumter, and it's one of my favorites to teach. So I do hope that you guys enjoy it as well. Each week, I'll be doing a video similar to this, uh, maybe not as long because, of course, this is getting us started with the whole course, but I like to go over at the beginning of each week where we are and what we should be working on. So we'll be looking for these each week. Um, I do really encourage you to read, uh, to, to watch the videos in addition to, of course, reading any assignments and things like that, because that's how you succeed on the assessments. Um, one of the things that I like to do in the videos is point out any potential pitfalls uh, or things that previous students may have missed on the assignments. So that will help you also, you know, make sure you're meeting all the requirements and all that good stuff. So please do take some time out of your schedule early each week to watch the video. And um, I will share my screen and go over what's happening during that week, which we will do starting now. So we're on the homepage of your course in Canvas. And if you are looking at this video, chances are you've already found this uh, homepage uh, because of course that's how you got here was to get into your Canvas shell. In Canvas, of course, there are a lot of tools built into Canvas uh, specific to our class, but also in general. So before we get into the class itself, I want to point out things on the far, far left-hand corner. In particular, I want to point out the inbox link. One of the keys with online classes is that, or any class that has a presence in Canvas, is that you are able to send private email messages to your instructors using the inbox. And unlike regular email, it is considered secure. So if you have a question about a grade or something like that, I can answer it there. I do answer emails very, very quickly. Um, inbox messages get forwarded to your student email and to my professor's email. Um, so it doesn't necessarily look you don't have to necessarily sign into your canvas to read or um, read or respond to inboxes but it is essential if you want to send me an email that you use inbox it's the best way to do it now there are also other ways to communicate of course with me and uh, the school and we'll go over some of those as we go through but I wanted to point out the inbox because that's a big one in Canvas, for all of your classes, you'll also have this little navigation tool on the left. Um, in our particular case, the most important ones will be the concourse syllabus link, which is where, of course, you can look at your class schedule um, and, of course, all the rules and regulations for the course. You are going to be going over that in this first week on your own. I'm not going to read you the syllabus, but you will want to go through every piece of that. And that is going to help you succeed on your first graded assignment. Um, well, second, if you're looking at the to-do list, um, but the syllabus quiz, which is really about all of the getting started materials. Um, so that's the first link below the homepage. Then you have the modules. That is the most important one. And that's where you will want to start each week. Um, we'll look at that in a minute, but I want to go over the rest of the stuff on the homepage first. You have a link to the announcements. You also notice that it says recent announcements at the top. There haven't, haven't been any yet. There will be by the time you get this. Um, but that you also can find the most recent announcements up at the top of the page on the home screen discussions are exactly what it sounds like. That's the discussion board assignments. Now, typically you'll be seeing those in the modules, but I do want to point out, and I'm going to click on it because the very first discussion and it's pinned at the top is called the Q&A discussion. Q&A is exactly what it sounds like. If you have questions about the course that you um, think other students might also have, you can post them on the Q&A board so that everyone can see the question and everyone can see the answers. 
So if I click on it, you'll notice it looks just like any discussion board in Canvas. In order to post a question, you would click reply and type your question into the box, click post reply. You may also want to click the subscribe button because that will alert you when something is posted to this discussion board. You'll get an email about it. So that's an important one. Grades is where you will track your own progress. I am in as a sample student, so all of the assignments are showing along with the due dates and the point value. The whole course is worth a thousand points, so it's fairly easy to track your progress. Um, and you'll see that most of the assignments, the biggest assignment is 200 points. Everything else is under 100 or under. Um, so there's no one assignment other than the final portfolio that could really, you know, irreparably damage your grade. Um, so hopefully that will allay any fears that you have. <laughs> um, but you do want to do all the assignments and you don't, you want to do well on them because they add up very quickly. So anyway, um, so that's the grade book. And then you have a link here to Office 365. You are going to need to produce your formal writing assignments for this course in Microsoft Word. So if you do not already have Microsoft Word, please do connect with the free resource for Office 365. All right, so let me go back to the home screen real quickly and then we'll go to the modules. One of the things I wanna point out that I have a hate relationship with about Canvas, I love Canvas, but I do not like this to-do list over on the right-hand side. Um, it is very tempting for students to click on it and try to do the assignments without ever looking at anything else. I can assure you that that is not a good way to succeed in an online class. I like to point out, I like to call it learn before you earn. In other words, you have to do some learning in order to successfully complete the assignments. Otherwise, you don't need this class, right? You may still think you don't need it, but you do. I promise you it'll be good. Um, so we don't want to click on these links over here. It's a nice little reminder of what is coming, but we don't want to click on them without actually learning anything first. That's what the modules are for. On the home screen, you also have links to my information. Um, you have contact information. You have um, all kinds of fun stuff about when my office hours are. I do answer questions day round all week long. So um, do use the inbox if you have a question. Uh, if you need me immediately, you do have a number that you can text me at. Make sure that you include your name and which class you're in because I do teach quite a few classes. Um, but anyway, this is where you contact me. Uh, my contact information is all right there. You have a link to the modules, which of course you can also click over here. There's a direct link to that Q&A discussion board. There is a link to the library and learning center, which we'll be talking about a lot uh, in doing our research. And then there is a link to some support items. We do have a textbook, but it is, it's free. Um, it is a PDF and you can access the course textbook directly by clicking on the stack of books. You also have links to it whenever there's a reading assignment. So I just like to have it on the home screen so that you can just open it and read through things if you so desire to do that. Let's go to the modules. In the modules, you will notice that everything is set up by the week. So you have each week is its own little module and everything that you need is right there in the modules. They are set up roughly the same way. You will notice the theme of learn before you earn. So I really am serious about that. So you want to do the things in order. You want to look at the learning materials and any activities first and then tackle the two or whatever, however many assignments you have due that week. But the assignments are right there on the modules page. Um, so no need to use that little pesky to do on the home screen. You can click directly here and do them after you look at the learning materials. Um, all the learning materials are set up kind of the same way. The weekly lectures, of course, as I mentioned, these walkthroughs are in the course announcements. You will have links to materials. 
Um, in the first week, there's no reading assignment. So you're just going to go through and review the syllabus and all the um, everything that's on the homepage and all the links and then connect with your self introductions, as well as the um, syllabus quiz. Okay, so the introduction is exactly what it sounds like. It's a discussion board. So you will introduce yourself and the syllabus quiz is also exactly what it sounds like. It's worth 25 points. Take your time with it. Don't hit submit until you are ready. Let me show you week two's learning materials. We'll go over them, but I wanted to show you what it looks like when you do have a reading assignment. There are also almost always videos to view. Um, and there's some articles for self-reflection, and then it proceeds to the earning. You can also click next to go to the very next assignment. That's absolutely fine. But I like to go back and forth with the modules because it's more visually laid out for me. It's just my, my own personal preference. So mostly I wanted to welcome you and to um, tell you I am excited to work with you. I look forward to reading your introductions. Uh, do try to post a picture or a video in your introduction so that we can actually see you. Um, it's hard sometimes in an online class when you don't get to see the people in the room with you. So it helps for everybody to kind of have an idea who you are. Um, and I look forward to chatting with all of you. If you have any questions, shoot me an inbox, post something on the Q&A, and I wish you a wonderful first week of classes. Everybody take care and I'll see you next week.